Hey guys, Absolute Zero here, and today we're going to be talking about how to make an array of objects in Java. So up to this point, we've covered some basics of object-oriented programming, and I've also taught you guys about arrays. So now we're going to put the two things together, and I'm going to show you guys how to make an array of objects. So I have a car class set up, and all this class does is it has a model variable, which is a string, so we're going to be able to basically say what the model of the car is. And we can get the model, and we can set the model. It's a really simple example, but that's all you guys need to understand this concept. So if we come over here, the way we declare an array of reference variables is the exact same way we would declare a normal array. So if you guys remember, we do something like int noms equals new int and then we would say how many um elements we want in the array so let's say we want it 10 we would put a 10 and now we have our array of ints well it works the exact same way except you give it the type of the reference variable you want to use so our class is car so we want to have it named car and maybe change the name of the array to make it more appropriate so basically this array is going to hold an array of reference variables to the type car. Now remember, this is really important. I know I said it was an array of objects, but it's really an array of reference variables. The reason that's important to remember is because a reference variable points to an object on the heap. And that's going to help you guys out a lot later on if you guys realize that reference variables aren't objects. So keep that in mind. So, the way we assign values to it is the same as any other array. So, we could go cars. So, let's say the first element in an array. We'll set it equal to a new car. Pretty simple. We're setting it to equal to a new instance of the car class. And we could do that for every single um, reference variable in the array. But what we could also do is we can create a for loop to cycle through the array of objects just like we would a normal array. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the scanner. If I can type right today, java.util.scanner. That's better. And we're just going to create a new scanner. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a for loop that will cycle through every single reference variable in our array. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for int i equals 0. Remember, arrays are indexed by 0 even if they're an array of reference variables. So it starts at 0. And we want i is less than cars dot length. Now something I didn't mention about dot length when I talked about for loops and stuff before is it returns the length of the array. So the length of the array is 10 but it stops at 0 or starts at 0 and stops at 9. That's why we don't go less than or equal to because then our for loop would try to go to cars 10, the 10th element of the array but it's really cars 9, so we want to go less than so we don't get that problem. And we're going to increment by 1 because we want to go for every single element in the array. Pretty simple. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to create a string variable and call it temp. What we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to go temp. Actually, we should probably give the user a prompt. S Y S O and that's just a little shortcut for you guys. I didn't show you that before, but you can go S Y S O and hit control spacebar and it'll print system dot out print line for you. Enter the car model. Please. Pretty simple, and now all we want to do is go <coughs> excuse me. Temp equals input dot next line. Oh, we'll just go next. Doesn't matter. Dot next. 
And then what we want to do is we want to go car, cars, there we go, i is equal to a new instance of the car class. And then what we want to do is we want to go cars i dot set model temp. Pretty simple. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to create a for loop to print the model of each car. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for i t i equals zero i is less than cars dot length and increment by one again and all we're going to do is go s y s o the our model that works we'll do that model plus and we can call in the methods this way cars the index we're at dot get model pretty simple and I'm just gonna make it so there's less in there I'll put it to like three and I'll just show you how this works so I'll expand this a little bit so you guys can see enter the model please f150 um I don't know I'm not into cars um Porsche probably spelt that wrong and then we'll have GMC I don't know and C works just fine so guys that's how you create an array of reference variables in Java I really hope you guys enjoyed the video you'll have to excuse the background noise there's some people walking around my house and I do have a bit of a cold so I'm sorry for that too but Anyways, I hope you guys learned something, and until next time, as always, stay frosty, and I hope you guys all have a great day.